a elite total body care and private label hair care company good afternoon or good morning or good evening um today i am going to be making some curry crab and also some steamed fish for june because we have to eat crab so i went to the um fish market today and i got some red snapper but the red snapper i'm actually not gonna do that today i'm gonna actually use grouper because the bones are a lot bigger and he prefers the bigger bone so what i'm gonna do let me take this out because i need this back right here. um what i'm gonna do is get my fish prepared and then i have my crab in the bag over there that are not being touched yet <laughs> oh lordy all right, so <laughs> I um, got one very large grouper. It cost about $45 for this grouper. And I am going to actually steam the grouper. Um, not the whole thing, just some pieces of it. So I'm gonna do those three. Now, in the West Indian home, we eat the head as well, so. Um, so I know a lot of you don't really like the fish head, but I actually kept the fish head because I the fish head of a grouper has a lot of meat on it, just so everybody knows. The fish head of a grouper has a lot of good meat, and it's good to make stock with it. Um, but in this case today, I'm not going to make any, any um, stock with the grouper. I'm just going to make those three pieces because two of them is for Junie, one of them is for me, and then the kids are gonna eat their curry crab as well as I'm gonna eat some curry crab this evening. All right, so I'm gonna put my fish here. So I'm just putting my fish in a bag for me to go put it in the freezer, that's my extra fish. All right, so I have my grouper here, so I'm gonna tilt you guys down so you can see my grouper. Um, it's already been scaled and cleaned, but I'm still going to squeeze some lemon over it. To, of course, do my own cleaning. I'm not gonna put any salt this time, I'm just gonna use the lemon. And these pieces are nice and large. So these pieces are definitely this grouper is big. And that, why I like grouper is because the bone of grouper is really big too. And that's another reason why I like to eat grouper. So I know he'll enjoy the grouper because the bone is so big and it's not like snapper where the bone is usually really small. And then of course, even though they scale the fish, they never scale it 100%. So I still always go back over it. And then I just kind of feel the other pieces to see if I feel any scales, which I don't really feel anything. But the areas that they normally forget to scale is like these little parts here. Nobody don't want fish scales to eat. That's nasty. So this piece, I'm actually going to cut. I'm not sure if it's my... Well, it is sharp enough to cut it. So I'm gonna cut this piece. Just like that. This piece I'm gonna leave as is, so he can have a nice sized piece of fish. Is gonna bother me, so I have to cut this off. All right. So for the fish, this is really simple. It don't really take much. We're gonna season the fish in the pot. We're gonna cut our aromatics, put it in the pot same time. 
and then we put it on the stove with a little tip of water and it will steam on the stove. Anytime I do any form of fish or something, I always spray bleach in the sink. Fish scales and all that, they bring flies. How are you feeling? This is grouper. I know it's not the best day. All right, so when you're doing steam fish, you can use okra, you can use, I'm good, I'm good, thank you, thank you so much. All right, good. So when you're doing steamed fish, you can do okra, you can do red bell peppers, you can do potato, you can do whatever you want to do with your fish. you guys so i have my aromatics so i'm gonna have some thyme i have some garlic i have some butter i have some carrots scallion onion and then i'm gonna put a potato in there as well just to give it some heartiness going to get my cutting board I already actually have the water boiling for my crab so I'm gonna just turn that off for a second all right so we have our handy dandy Dutch pot okay so I'm gonna actually put my aromatics at the bottom of the Dutch pot and not the fish this is something that I've kind of learned to do over time um, and I'm actually going to start to kind of cook my aromatics a little bit before I put my fish in there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start with our garlic. For the garlic, I'm just gonna smash it. I'm not really gonna mince it too much. We're just gonna smash the garlic. So I really like garlic. That's another reason why I'm using the garlic. In this bowl, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to season my fish. I'm gonna leave a little bit of fish water that's in there. That's fine. So we're gonna season that up separately so that it can be ready to go into the pot. So my garlic is gonna go one side. Then we have our onion. I'm not going to take off the end because you guys know I'm going to end up crying if I do. I'm going to do my onion nice and big. Nothing too fancy. Okay, that's my onion. Two sprig of scallion. I'm actually not going to cut these down too much. 
I'm gonna leave them nice and large. So I'm just gonna take off the head, clean them up anywhere that needs to be cleaned. Wash them and then I'm just gonna smash them. So. And just snap them in two like that. That's my scallion. And then my carrot. I like to buy carrot sticks. I cheat, okay? If I can't get the carrot sticks wherever I'm at, then I'll buy the actual carrot. But in today's case, I'm using carrot sticks. I'm going to use that many carrots. I don't leave them big like this, though. I usually cut them either in half or sometimes even smaller than that. Okay, and then my one little potato. I'm gonna take the skin off. Yeah, I'm going to use the dry one. It's easier because I can't really rub up the fish as much as I want. So we have black pepper. I have the fish kind of spread out. So you want to make sure, especially for this big hunk, a chunk of piece right here, I want to put enough seasoning. Um, I'm going to put, of course, some pimento seed. He hates pimento seed because he doesn't like how big how they are in the actual food. But the pimento seed is gonna go in with our aromatics. I'm gonna put some pimento seed in my crab water all at the same time because I'm using that anyway. And I'm gonna take some garlic and put in some my crab water as well. Like that. Then I have some garlic powder. You season your fish the way you want to season your fish. A lot of people say, oh, just salt and pepper. That's all you need. No. More I use seasoning. And then I'm going to put some cayenne. The kids are not eating this. It's just us. So I can add some cayenne to it to make it nice and spicy. And then I have our moon spice here. So I'm gonna take some moon spice seasoning and put that in my crab water. That's number one. But then I'm also gonna take my moon spice and add it to my fish. This fish well big. That's good. Okay. And then just gently, remember that grouper is also very delicate too. It's a very, um, in my eyes, it's very flaky. So you want to be gentle with it, but still make sure that it's well seasoned. So I'm just gonna kind of rub it up slightly. Okay, so we have our fish.
I'm gonna use my carrots again, so we're gonna cut some more aromatics in just a moment. So we're going to put our butter in there. I'm going to put my garlic in there now. I'm going to put my pimento seed in there now. I'm not gonna put the green onion in there. And I'm not gonna put the thyme in there for all of it. I'm not gonna put all of it in there yet. So while that's going, I'm going to peel my sweet potatoes. So that's going and going and going. I'm just going to peel my potatoes for the crowd and get that out of the way. Okay, so I'm going to peel my potatoes for the crowd and get that out of the way. No, I do not use a potato peeler. I do not understand that whole concept of a potato peeler. I do not want to peel my potatoes for the night. So they've already started to pre-cook like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is take my fish and I'm going to go ahead and lay my fish on top of my aromatics, just like this. Hold on, you guys.
All right, you guys, so my fish is in the pot, okay? I'm going to allow it to do its thing now. I'm not gonna disturb it much more than I've already disturbed it. What you guys saw me put in there is fish seasoning. I usually actually use that for um, soup, but I also use it in my steamed fish. Um, the potatoes are in there, the carrots. I put a scotch bonnet pepper in there, which is that. And then I did use the water from the bowl that I, see, that I seasoned the fish in. And then I just poured that in there. So we're gonna just cover that up. And I have my pot on somewhat low, kind of like a medium low. And now we're gonna work on our crab. Not prepared for this crab. Crabs are dangerous animals. All right, so in my pot here, I have water, pimento seed, garlic. She wants to see the live crab. Garlic, pimento seed. I'm scared too. <laughs> we all scared. <laughs> Alex, Alex is in here like, yeah, it's gonna get us, it's gonna get us. <laughs> All right. What's the name? Well, you didn't know about that. Hey, John. If it was the weekend, you didn't have no school? No, thank you. It's Thanksgiving. Okay, you guys can go. All right, you guys can go. Let's do mommy take it. Okay, it's fine. All right. Grandpa's on here. Hi, Dad. Well, we get home late, Daddy, so we cook late. Allspice is pimento seed, you guys. Yes. Okay. So we have... If you, go, if you listen close to home, you can hear them. Okay, they're still alive. <laughs> you should see, they're all looking the same way, like... <laughs> Oh, it's okay. It's okay. I'm making sure that it's still moving. I'm making sure it's still alive. They're still alive. They usually put it in a box, mommy. It isn't a. It wasn't a box. So they don't bring it home <laughs> in a box. Okay, so I only buy alive crabs, and they have to be male. We do not eat female crab. That's nasty. Why is that nasty? They Tell have me. eggs in them. They have eggs in them. They are pregnant. That's nasty. We're not eating that. <laughs> I'm just waiting. Is the water boiling? No. No, it's not even boiling. We can try it like and put them in the sink and do it. Is this the replay of the lobster? Kinda. The lobster was alive, mom. The lobster was you don't buy dead lobsters and you don't buy dead crust crustaceans. You need to buy them alive. And they need to be male. But like the They're in the bag saying, help, help. <laughs> Let's just check on the fish in the meantime. Fish oh, good. Good. you ain't getting none of that. The crab is feet. And it's corn. corn. Crab, and corn. crab already. I'm waiting for the, the water needs to be boiling hot so that they die. The baby they touch the water. Is that pop big enough volume? Yes, I only got like six crab. Oh. Okay. Do you see it? Do you see yes? And I'm going, <laughs> sadly, when I'm going to leave you. tell her? Did you tell her? Caroline? Yeah. No, because I just, as soon as she said yes, I came in here. Okay, well, her mom texted me. <laughs> you can tell her. Okay. That Alex is going as well, and okay. I shall drop you to the movie theater, and I shall pick you back up. Okay. Okay, understand? Yes, sir. Right. I thought you told him I was going to tell him. It's hard. What you mean? Yes, I did. All right. You scared too? Me too. I'm very scared. <laughs> I just want to see them alive. And these crabs were vicious in the box too. The guy is the one that took them out at the fish place. I didn't take them out. And they were just... <laughs> you know? Let me make sure I have two tongs just in case they get violent. Hey, these are really short though. The endurance times. <laughs> 
It's dangerous time to them. He's crying, Molly. It's dangerous. All right, our water's ready. <laughs> you can't be scared. Oh my God, you're standing. 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 You're if I gotta run off, the crowd, the crowd's gonna live with us. Not coming after. We should let Prince out just in case. Yes, we should. Cash will get it. Oh, cash will get it. Cash will eat it. Cash will get it just in case. Cash is not scared. Cash is watching us right now. We're just waiting. Cash. You wanna see the crowd too? It's a lot of stuff. It's a lot. Yeah. I'm gonna sit back with you. We usually get crabs alive. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you grabbed them like that. <laughs> Try to right. them out. So I'm going to leave it in the sink just in case because if they get out, then we can just push it. Here's some. <laughs> Let me see. You can just see when you take it out and put it to the pot. Ugh. You're going to kill it? Mm -hmm. like it's gonna... see? Oh, they're fighting. They're fighting. Why, oh, you brave. Are... Why? why are we trying to get live crab now? Because you don't eat dead crab, son. Oh, these crabs are feisty. Watch how y'all are breathe, even braced. Watch out. What? Stay in here. Stay in here. You stay in there. Oh, my. He's trying to pull. Hi, right, y'all got to see the action. They're holding on to each other. Oh, they're just pulling each other together. I'm not brave, man. All right. Turn the camera to the pot so they can see the pot. They're definitely alive. They're dead, man? No, none. They're not dead? I think he just died. <laughs> okay, two just died. There's more? Yeah. Oh, how many are there? Not like six. These, these crabs are vicious. Especially this one right here. This one real vicious inside and back. This one right here, he real snappy. They just hold it on to each other. You see that? Okay, I'm going to fight And you have to cook them for like an hour so we can make sure that they're dead. Here go the kids. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sure. All right. Two more. This one is looking at me like he's ready. Look. Is he trying to snap Look. at you, Mom? Oh, you snappy. Look at you. You're super snappy. You even have the audacity to hold on to the bag. Mm -hmm. I want that snappy, man. Oh, you might want to be careful with your hands. I know, son. I'm not scaring you. We're going to eat you. <laughs> He's dead. Doesn't want to make it. So today. Okay. Move back. <laughs> one more to go. This one, you see the one that fit real calm? That's the gangster one. It's always the gangster one. Yeah, yeah. Get it cool. At he's trying to find his way out. No, he died. Oh, I think he's just like moving while he's down. Yeah, right down. Right, down. All right my brother, go on in there. Down. Put them all one at once. Put put down. Put <laughs> You know, I'm like, trying to so like, you get, like, you get trouble. And you say, move your head, move your head. Move your head. Move your head. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, is that the last one? I think so. That was good. Oh. That was very dangerous. That was big. Listen, crustaceans are dangerous animals. <laughs> they are. Like, they are like. Yes. All right, so now we're going to let the water boil again to make sure that they're super dead. <laughs> Best laugh I had all day. This is intense, okay?
Thank you, Sharon. Hey, boy. Oh, it's hard. Oh, you want to see the crab? Come. You can't see? No. Ready? Three, two, one, two. Oh. You want to touch it? No. no. So even if they're dead, they might still survive. No, that's why we're going to wait till the water is boiling so we know that they're dead, dead, dead. Not just dead, you know, they have to be dead, dead, dead. Like super dead. So there's our crabs. They're not dead yet. I don't care if they have to, I don't care if they turn all bright red. They have to be super dead. So the water needs to come to a boil and then it needs to rumble for like five minutes before I will take them out. Because I have to handle these things even when they're dead. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Nasty. All right, come and check my little fish. So our fish is here. This is our fish. Grace, that's not the eyes. That's pimento seed. All right, so our fish is going and going and going. So let me get my... um. So you don't actually stir the pot. You just use the handles on the Dutch pot and you just kind of move it around, right? Um, I can smell the scotch bonnet. So I know what the scotch bonnet was. Mm -hmm. I can smell it. Okay, I'm just make sure everybody have their place. I'm gonna get a big spoon. And then we're just gonna take the big spoon and just kinda make sure that all of our fish is nicely covered. So I have it on low on purpose. I told you guys the fish steams really quickly, which was another reason why I wanted to start to pre-cook my potato and all that first. And now it's on low. Potato is partially cooked, so my time. I think I'm gonna flip this one over. I want a big. Yeah, that's good. Just so the other side gets a chance. The rest of the fish, more than likely already cooked. bad that is grouper so i got one big grouper and had them cut it into five pieces cut the head into four pieces so we have more than enough all right i don't i think our crab is dead we're just gonna check to make sure that the crab is dead so i have some moon spice in my water which is the dry one let's just turn him over i just want to make sure that he's super dead I have moon spice, I have a couple pieces, a couple cloves of garlic, and I have some pimento seed or allspice in the water. Really all we're doing is just killing the crab, okay? If you guys don't know, a female crab has a big triangle thing. A male crab has what looks like a male part. That's how you know a female from a male. We do not eat dead or female crabs. That's nasty. So let's get our aromatics together for our curry crab. We're actually gonna use the same pot that we are boiling the crab in. 
to curry the crab. This is really super simple, you guys, okay? So this part is super simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my aromatics. My aromatics is going to be potato, I'm not making my potato really big. Remember, potato, like crab, it, it tastes nice, right? It's great to eat, but it's not very filling. So you need something in your mix that's going to be nice and filling on the stomach. So we're going to do the same thing that we did with the fish. We're going to pre-cook our aromatics. The crab is already cooked, so all we really need to do is toss it around. Same thing with my green onion. I'm not going to cut it up too much. I'm just gonna open it like that and beat it. Just beat it. Carrots, same thing. And then we have our garlic and our thyme. And those are ready. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my crab. I'm just gonna put it in the sink. It's, it's dead, but it's not really dead. Ugh, it stinks. All right, so I am going to actually put this in a colander it off. So we're going to strain our crab and everything else in a colander, okay? Now, some of this water, I'll hold on, some of this water I'm going to put into a bowl because I'm going to actually use some of this water for my sauce or my gravy. Right, so I'm gonna pour some of the sauce into this measuring cup here. I might not use it all, but I'm gonna use most. Okay, so this same pot we're gonna use to curry up. Okay, so to clean the crab, I'm gonna get a plastic bag. I'll probably just use the bag that it came out of. I think this is the safest thing. Yeah. So I'm gonna run cold water on it. I'm gonna put this to the side. That's my broth that I'm gonna use. And then I'm going to get, well, I don't really need a bowl. I'm gonna see what I'm doing. I'm just running cold water on them to cool them down so that I can handle them. Remember, they were just boiling in hot water. Got my knife. These things are still hot. We don't actually use the top part of the shell, you guys. So I don't actually use this part. Other people would, I don't. So I'm just cutting off the gills. Don't need those. And I don't need the face. And then I just scrape off this little membrane on top. I don't need that either. And then any little membrane -y items inside, I don't need those either. Oh, the worm in there. Hmm. This is also a reason why I gotta clean out mine. I'm real funny.
can tell the older ones from the younger ones. Last one. So our crab is done. So what we're going to do is take our pan and you just split them in half just like that. I'm gonna move it over here. All right, so for our curry, I got some beta pack curry. Um, I also need to get an onion. I'm also going to steam some corn and broccoli. All right. 
right, so I'm gonna put some butter. You can use oil, but today I'm gonna use some butter because I chose to use butter. Spice. Put some allspice in there. Fry this up. So I'm going to toast my curry and some turmeric first. And I'm going to use two packs of the curry. My dad sent these for me. Let's see on All right, so we're going to toast up our curry real quick. So you go into the store to buy the crab. Do you ask for the ones you want? Yeah, I told the guy, hey, I need a live and I need male crabs. And they show you each one as they're giving it to you. You never buy dead crabs. Dead crabs start to give off ammonia. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to add in my potato. Uh-oh, I just dropped one. Aromatics, all of that's gonna go in there. stove is on high. I'm just going to make sure that all my potatoes and everything is down in the little pot. Also gonna put a scotch bonnet in there. So I'm gonna let that start. I'm actually gonna use my wet moon spice instead of the dry moon spice. I'm gonna use some of the wet one in my curry. Someone asked a really good question today. What is the shelf life on the moon spice? If you keep it in the cabinet, I say three months. If you keep it in the refrigerator, I say no more than six months. Mine stays in my cabinet and it is just fine. Okay, so I'm going to put a whole tablespoon of moon spice 
in here. Put a nice heaping size. black pepper and then garlic powder remember the moon spice has garlic powder in it you guys but remember when I keep telling you guys that the moon spice is not going to overpower your food so you can add whatever additional spices you want to taste for your taste. And then I'll add a little bit of adobo, just the salt. Remember it's going on crab. The crab don't have nothing in it. So I'm gonna let my potato partially cook before I put the crab in there. I'm gonna get some chicken stock. Is that definitely what we I'll read your comments in just a moment. So I'm gonna add some chicken stock. Let's make sure we don't need any. Oh no, this is nice. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna turn that to medium once we bring it to a boil. Let's put our cap on, let our potatoes cook. I'm gonna make some broccoli and the kids want corn again. I love spice, yes I do. Yes, I have to support family. Crystal makes my day go by fast. I look forward to seeing her live and interacting with everyone else on live. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Sonia. All right, so the want corn. I know Junie don't want no corn, so I'm going to make some broccoli for him. They want corn with the curry crab. So corn is a carb. It will fill them up along with the little bit of potato that's in there. So I'm just gonna make enough. Because last night I seemed to have not made enough corn because they were just like, hey, you have enough corn. Hey, you have enough corn. So I'm just gonna make. Look, look. Son, it's not a shrimp crab boil, son. It's crab. Got a shrimp crab boil. Christian, go sit down. All right, so for my corn, I'm going to get some moon spice, the dry one. I'm going to put a little bit of dry spice. butter and then this baby can go on the stove Let's make some broccoli. Your dinner's late tonight, you guys. 
I mean, we got home late too, so. So this broccoli is big, so I'm kind of cutting it down so that it's not so big. be ready in like 10 minutes 10 15 minutes max they don't have school tomorrow so only i have actually to have to go work you know so they can be up all night if they want I have a little bit of chicken stock left. I'm waiting until I go to add my crab. And that will finish it off. I'm just gonna put these things away. I don't need any more butter. I don't need any more of this stuff. I'm gonna put these in the fridge. I'm going to go ahead and wash these off. Time for the lid on them crabs. It'll steam faster. The crabs are done. The crabs are done. The crab was cooked already. I'm cleaning up on everything. It's not the crab that we're doing. It's the curry part that you're doing. 
crab's been done. Crab is sitting here, cooked. So I'm trying to make sure that the potato and everything else is cooked. Really the potato is what has to cook. It's the potato that has to cook, nothing more. And then you drop the crabs in there, you toss it around. When the potato is like halfway cooked, you drop the crabs in there and you let it finish cooking with the crab so that the crabs can cook up the curry. Yucky, it's real easy. It's a late dinner tonight. Because we got home late. We didn't get home till like almost seven. Minutes to seven. Dad to work today. And then I had an errand to run. So life goes on. Adriana or Alex, turn off the heat, please. It's hot. Here's a little fish plate. Thank you. I am. I use Moon Spice in almost everything, the wet one or the dry one. So even in my corn, there's Moon Spice. All right, so I'm going to put you guys here so you can see what's happening. So our potato and everything should be partially done. Let's check. I'm going to have a fork. I have a spoon today. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna take the remainder of my stock. Pour that in there. Now for the crab. So you take your crab. That's already been cleaned and cut in half. And you just drop it in there. So the crab is cooked and clean. Hey, that one didn't break in half. Toss them around. And remember, the crab, they have their own water too. So that's why I like to par cook the potato. Because if I put it in there too soon, mm -mm, it's not going to be good. Toss them so that everybody has curry. If you want to take the legs off, you can. I don't take the legs off. They can take their legs off. They get to like basically feast on it. Cover your pot 
let that go for about five minutes and then we're done with it. Corn is done. I mean, we're basically warming the corn. It's not really much, you guys. My broccoli. Fish is done. Everything else is done, you guys. We're just waiting for this to be finished. Which is really the broccoli. Thank you guys for answering those questions. I'm making you hungry. Hi. Where did you get the curry from? My dad gave it to me. My dad got it for me. Um, but I actually just bought some in the grocery store too. But I'm using the ones that my dad gave me first. No, Julian, so for the buy one, get one, it's already set up. You don't have to add anything else to your card or anything like that. Once you choose the item in the drop down list on the body care site, it's already set up as a BOGO. So you're gonna automatically get two of that product. That's how we did it. All right, so I'm just going to toss my crab around. The only reason why I thought one was trying to escape, I'm just tossing it around in the curry so that it will pick up that curry. That's really it, you guys. Like, literally, it's done. It's ready. The only reason why I let it sit for about five minutes is because I want the crab to soak up the curry, which that doesn't take long. Picks up all the seasoning. That doesn't take long. Finish cooking out the potato. That doesn't take long. And just... That's it. Curry crab. I'm actually gonna turn that off. Hi, Brittany. That is. So, did you get it? Is it ready? Is it um, on its way? I hope it's on its way. I mean, of course, it's not going to leave till sometime the end of the week or next week, but. I love to watch Crystal do her magic in the salon. She was seriously doing hair size. Thank you. Crystal, do you have room at the table for one more? Unfortunately, no. No, I don't. Thank you, Deborah. So our crab is done. Let me get something to put it in only because it's way too, um, this pot is way too hot for them to eat from there. So what I like to do is they each get their own plate um, and we kind of just sit at the table and feast on it together. But because this pot is very hot and I want to be able to spread it out so that it's not all jumbled up, I'm going to put it
So we're gonna pour crab into that pan. So I'm gonna bring you guys this way. Make it here. All right, so we're gonna pour the crab into this baking pan so that it will spread out on the plate. crab real easy nice and tasty sparring the moon spice of course yeah so we're gonna let that sit to the side and kind of cool off the corn is ready the broccoli is ready we'll just make sure yeah. all right so i'm gonna go ahead and share juni's food because his actually requires plating, the other ones do not. He likes his broccoli like super soft, but I try not to make it too soft where it starts to like fall apart. And then I'm gonna get some broccoli as well. So that's that. filling this pot with water. So we have our fish. I'm gonna go ahead and take out our fish and put this in the plate as well. Try not to put any pimento seed in there because I've never seen a man hate pimento seed like that. I'm putting the sauce on the fish because I know he's gonna want it on everything else. All right, so there is his steamed fish with broccoli. So steamed grouper with broccoli. Mm hmm Guys, time to eat. I guess I'm talking to myself. And then I also have a fish, which is that. Adriana, Alex, and Christian, I have to call you again. You didn't hear me? I was playing the game. Because you were playing the game. Everybody want fish? No. Me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everybody can have juice. You have to sit at the table to eat this in. Oh, too much. Mm -hmm. um, share juice for everybody, please. Are you mm -hmm. Are you I am. I mean, I'm starving. I definitely am. So, you guys, that is 
Yeah, the first plate is for Junie Tanetta. Yes, the first plate is always for Junie. We always share the man's plate first. Super important. And then the kiddos, they want corn. Only oh, they're gonna turn into a corn. I should have made what? Of course I want ice. You gonna give me something without ice? I know you would too, you know. So this is really the filling part along with the potatoes and along with the potatoes and then they eat their crab. But this is really what will fill their belly because you have to have something with curry crab. Technically rice is the best thing to have, but they're not, they didn't want rice. They had rice yesterday. I should open a food truck. Judy said that before. I don't think so. I don't cook for people. Christian or Alex, come get the plates. All right, you guys. So we are going to eat our dinner. So we have our curry crab with corn. Um, I appreciate you guys for watching. I'm tired and I'm hungry. So we're about to go and eat our dinner and enjoy. Um, you guys are going to need gloves for this. Okay. Yes, my nails. It's so Curry nice. gets on the nails and they stain the nails. Yes. So Christian doesn't need any gloves, but we do. <laughs> Definitely, we do. Here you go. All right, you guys. Good night. Good night, Daddy. Love you. Love you guys.